Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can create realistic exterior scene in Blender Cycles. And I'm going to show you basically uh, uh, the exterior the lighting setup that I use in order to achieve these results. As you can see, I have uh, some kind of night feeling right here and also some kind of uh, day feeling. And I'm going to show you how uh, how I created this uh, this scene using Blender. And you can find the project file in this description below. You can go download them, you can follow me along, or you can just see uh, the approach that I used to, to create this kind of lighting. So when we start the tutorial, this is the project file that you will find in the description below. As you can see, we have some kind of uh, building, some kind of uh, mixed use building, and uh, we have some kind of background. So uh, this is the project file you will find. And as you can see, I have already set up the camera view so that you know we will be working on, on this view since we're going to use cycles and also in order to decrease the amount of or in order to increase our efficiency just make sure that you have uh, locked on your camera so in this tutorial we're going to, to see two things uh, mainly the first one is uh, texturing so we're going to texture everything uh, accordingly the glass the panels and everything we might also need to tweak this uh, this asphalt and everything uh, that's there the glass and everything so after that we're going to light up the scene and we're going to use a combination of uh, hdri and some kind of emission lights and also uh, physical lights so we're going to use uh, those combinations to create uh the effect that you have seen in the introduction so when we start the texturing first let us start with the glass as you can see i have a glass right here i'm going to select this one and change this one to shader editor so as you can see uh if i change this one to um uh, as you can see this is a principal base diff so um i i want to change this one to glass based diff so just change this one uh, click this one and change this one to glass based base diff so i have a glass nut here so this is not enough for me so what i'm going to do is i'm going to press shift a and search uh transparent i'm going to use the transparent and then i'm going to mix this glass in the transparent so shift a and add a uh, uh, mix mix shader i'm going to place this one in the middle and place this one at the bottom so for the factor i'm going to use a uh, type uh, layer weight i'm going to use this fresnel for the factor i'm going to plug it right here and after this press shift a and i'm going to use a noise i'm going to use uh sorry noise the other one is noise texture and i'm going to press ctrl t and change this one to object so that it will be a procedurally uh uh repeated or you know distributed along the glass and i'm going to press shift a again and i'm going to add a bump node and I'm going to plug this right here in the factor to the height and change the distance to 0 0.05, uh, 0.05 I mean. So I'll show you what, what, what's the function for this one. So if I change this one to uh, EV, material preview, we can't see anything that much right here. So, but I think we can see something. As you can see, this is the effect of the, uh, the this noise. And I'm going to change this one to 0.5. I don't want this to be that much intense. So uh, the function of this noise is, uh, I don't want this glass to be a straight straight or very smooth i want it to have a little kind of you know a uh, bump along the surface so that's why i have placed it as you can see the strength is 0 0.5 in order to see the effect of this glass clearly what we're going to use is uh, we're going to use an hdri so press any new keyboard i'm going to use this easy hdri to uh, easy hdri to to manipulate or to control my hdris you can download the add-on it's free and i'm going to uh select the folder that i have the hdris on so this is the the, the folder i have downloaded a bunch of hdris from hdri haven i will place the link in the description below for the for the texture that i'm using so uh, i'm going to uh let me select the, the the texture that i'm going to use so after this just changes this one to the render view as you can see now we can see our hdri but change this one to uh, uh cycles and if you have a GPU, change this one to GPU so that you know you can uh, preview clearly. And I'm going to change the viewport to 512 so that you know I have a pretty good viewport. And I'm going to uh, activate this adaptive sampling. And in the denoising, I'm going to activate this viewport and just use whatever suits you. If you have a GPU, I think for, for my case, I don't think oh, optics is working. So I'm going to use this open image denoiser. So and I'm going to I'm using this uh, cycle six, you know, so that uh, I can preview faster, and change this one to filmmaking Gothic base and medium high contrast. If you don't have this one, 
you can see it uh, how you can install it blender guru has a good tutorial how you can install this filmic uh, color management it's pretty good it will give you a good result make sure that you have installed this one i mean uh, added this one so if i press zero on my numpad you know to see from my camera view so this is how my glass is looking and as you can see this is not uh, that kind of a good result this is not that much a good result so what we're going to use is uh, let me decrease the roughness for the glass you know so that it will be 100 percent reflective i don't have i don't need any roughness and uh, after this it's it's kind of too much it's it's uh, uh we don't see any reflection on this glass right so what i'm going to do is uh press shift a i'm going to add a uh, a glossy base diff let me pause this one for now and i'm going to press shift 3 to duplicate this one and place this one right here i'm going to plug this one in the bottom and let me give it a, a factor of 0.25 and let me hit play so as you can see it's it's much more reflective than the previous one as you can see and let me give it a, a, a little bit of tint you know nothing is that that much i want or i want my glass to have some kind of you know some kind of tint and let me change this one to 1.333 and i'm going to decrease the glossy roughness to zero so as you can see i have waited until the viewport you know sampling is finished and this is the result that we have got for for the glass so we might need uh, to 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 change or to tweak some things after the lighting is completed so when we go to the uh fact with this one to see clearly when we go to for the panel as you can see for the anime uh, aluminum panel i'm going to change this one to metallic since i want this to be metallic i'm going to press ctrl v to have a border you know so that we can preview faster and i'm going to give it a little bit of uh you know darkness i want this to be uh more darker i think something like this and i'm going to decrease the roughness somewhere around here and pretty much i'm going to keep everything uh, as uh, as as it is maybe point one y you can decrease this one you can tweak this the settings later depending on on the lighting so as you can see this is the basic material so if i change this one to ev you know so that we can preview uh quickly so this is the basic material that we're going to use for as you can see for this white one it has uh, a basic principal base div as you can see with 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 um with some default values only the roughness is 0.4 i'm going to make this one 2.6 so since this one is not a close-up shot as you can see as you have seen in the introduction uh we don't need to uh to spend a lot of time to using high quality texture on this one you can use just this basic textures and you will end up with a good result or you can just you know download any wall textures from mbncg.com you, you can apply it but i don't think it's going to matter that much since you know it's it's the the camera shot is taken from a distance uh, you're not going to see that much detail so you can use this the, the basic principle uh base tape. so this is already assigned in the project file so you don't have to worry about it so the basic thing that we are going to worry on this on this scene is for this glass and for this aluminium so we're going to tweak things you know so that we can uh, get the result that we are looking for uh, so after this what we need to do is let us uh, uh adjust the hdr right so i'm going to uh, decrease the sky uh these to 2.5 since i don't want this to have that much of uh, intensity i don't want that so i i will change this one 2.5 and let me give it a sound strength of 0 0.2 or maybe 0 0.1 uh, 0 0.1 or something as you can see uh this is a sunset hdr so you know we're going to use that one so let me change this one to worded so as you can see you have some kind of controls right here some of them are visible right here but uh but the rotation the scale and the location of this hdr is not visible right here so i'm going to tweak some things right here and i'm going to change the z rot rotation to 495 this was a result that was good for this specific scene so as you can see this is the result and uh, i'm going to give it a tint for the hdr right so i'm going to use uh, uh some kind of a blue tint and let me uh, give it a factor of 4.41 uh, so you know so that i will have a, a blue tint uh, that's coming from the hdr right so uh i'm going I, i'm i'm basically using the combination of an image and a, a color so sometimes that will give you a good result so this is the basic lighting setup for uh, the basic hdr lighting setup for, for this specific scene and you can always you know change this z value as you can see when when we are using zero for example the rotation of the hdr this was the result which is a really good sunset scene but 
when I'm when I'm using 495 I mean when I was rotating it in the direction that I want it should be as you can see we have a complete different a completely different lighting so um, and the place of this rotation or basically the place of the place of the Sun on the dry will will give you a different result depending on the, the angle that you have placed it so after this what we are going to do is uh, if I just change this one to a material uh, EV material preview if I change one of this uh, for so if I select one of this let me select uh, one of let me select one of this and if I uh, look right here or maybe not this maybe this one as you can see one of the floors as you can see we have some kind of uh, materials as you can see the exterior glass and everything and you can see this light emission so if I press slash numpad in my keyword to isolate this one as you can see I have placed some kind of you know uh, uh, lighting some kind of lightings uh, in every floor that we're going to use to light up the entire the interior part so if I as you can see this light emission if I change this one to emission since I want this to emit some kind of light and if I change if I give it a color of uh, you know something like this and let me give it a strength of 100 and if I press slash in my numpad again if I press 0 uh, if I press 0 and if I activate this rendered view to see clearly so as you can see we are getting some kind of lighting that's coming inside uh, from the inside part of the, the building so as you can see it's looking good already it's looking good already so the next thing that we're going to use is after we have uh, placed this emission as you can see everything everything in this floor have equal amount of you know uh, every floor had equal amount of light so to change that what we're going to do is let me change this this to uh, this um, uh, normal viewport and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to inside one of the floor press uh, let me activate this overlay Press Shift A, uh, Shift right click to snap the cursor right here. Press Shift A, and I'm going to add a, a point light, and I'm going to press GZ to place it right here, and I'm going to give it uh, a same value of something uh, that's uh, similar to the, the the emission that we have placed. Let me give it a value of uh, 500 for now. We can change this effect later. So after this, what I'm going to do is I think this one is in the middle, and go to this view again. I think it's in the middle. To see it clearly you can activate this uh, extreme mode as you can see but i don't need this one so uh right here i have already placed it right here and i'm going to press alt d and then z to duplicate it in the z direction since i want this to be duplicated in the z direction and again alt d and i'm going to place it right here and i'm going to press alt d again just jump some few floors and place this uh place this this uh uh this point light in places that you want things to lit up more than uh, more than the rest so i'm going to press alt z i'm going to place them you know wherever they are necessary and i think uh, placing them right here will be good and also right here and also i'm going to place them right around here and also i'm going to press alt d and i'm going to place something right here just make sure that you are placing it in the in, in the right places uh, alt dy and place it right here so i've placed uh, uh, some kind of lights in in you know random places in the building and if uh, in case you have noticed i have used alt to duplicate uh, the lights so whenever i change one of the lights every single light will change uh, equally since they have uh, the same object data so that's the function of using alt to duplicate uh, to duplicate objects whenever you have changed or whenever I have tweaked something on on one of the objects everything will be applied to everything else so as you can see now uh, some of the parts of the building are more lit up than than the rest as you can see one thing that you need to keep in mind whenever you are using uh, this uh, you know physical lights it's going to increase the, the amount of rendering time so if you if you can pull off the render without using any physical lights uh, make sure to do that but sometimes we may need those physical lights so you know for as you can see for example for this background uh, buildings right here i don't i do not use any physical lights i'm only using emission lights to to create this uh, this feeling since they they don't matter that much you know you don't have to place any physical lights if you do you're going to increase uh, your uh, render time 
so make sure to keep that in mind so as you can see we have finished placing the lights in in the proper places so the next thing that we need to do is as you can see the scene does not have any cars any trees you know anything on the road that will give it more more realism so we need to add those th those details so i'm just going to go to the solid view uh i'm going to press alt h you know i have already placed the trees in, in the proper places you can find this in the description below uh, as i've said earlier so if i go to the camera view as you can see this is my camera view and if you go to this uh, right here scene properties if you cl click the camera i have two camera views i'm going to select the second one so after i have placed the trees the next thing that i need to do is i need to place some ca some cars so i'm going to uh to, to, to do that you will find the cars in the description below so uh, i have used uh, i have used the same cars the, the same car in the scene but uh, i have duplicated it and if i just going to uh, if i go to the matter preview for ev if i select the car body as you can see uh, i can control the color right here but this one is the the, the, the viewport display color i don't think this one matters uh sorry but if you go to the shader editor right here in the multiply uh right here you can change the color pretty much to, to any color as the, that you want but when when change one of the color everything will, will change along with it so what you need to do is select one of this and click this duplicate right here so this will be a different one here so if i change let me say if i change this one to somehow uh somehow like this as you can see it's changed but it only changed uh, itself anything uh, any of the cars are not changed along with it so what you have to do is i'm going to drag and drop it right here i'm going to drag and drop it right here drag and drop it right here so to have a different material setup or to have a different material all you have to do is uh, do the process that i have shown you right now and i'm going to select this one th th it's kind of rubber so i'm going to drag and drop it to the, to, to the drawer handle so that you know i don't think uh white will be uh, idealistic material for for the car handle so uh, that's the thing that you need to do and yeah drag and drop it right here let us see this one in the render view and if we need to tweak things we will do that uh, later so as you can see this is the result that we got for for uh from placing the trees in the, the cars i think it's more alive than than the previous one right so after you, you have done that make sure that you have given the cars a uh, different uh, material so for the final touch what i have done is i have placed some kind of you know traffic lights right here and also right here just only place them in in places that are necessary or that are visible so i have placed something right here and right here and i have also added trees right here and also as you can see i have also added trees and i have changed the scale of each tree so that they won't be uh, similar to each other as you can see this one is a little bit bigger this one is smaller so make sure that you have given each trees a little bit of variation so that they won't they won't be 100 identical to each other if if that's the case the scene won't be uh, that realistic so make sure that you have added some variation if you can make sure that you change the cars you know make sure that you have added different cars and also as you can see we, ha we have only added four cars make sure that you have you know more amount of cars so that the scene will be more uh, lively but for demonstration purposes i'm going to use something like this so as you can see uh, we have basically finished the, the the material and the lighting basically the lighting so after this what we need to do is if you go to this render properties and in the color management we can see something uh, as you can see curves so i'm going to use curves so for example if i uh, click right here as you can see this the scene is brighter if i make it something like this the scene is uh, the scene is the scene is darker so if i create another control point right here as you can see if i make it a curve like this what this will do is it's going to make uh, the brightest point even more brighter so but this one as you can see it's going to make the overall scene uh, to be bright or dark so what i'm going to do is i'm going to make the overall scene a little bit darker maybe something like this and i'm going to uh, make the brighter portions of the scene to be a little bit more bright so as you can see if i activate this curve as you can see this is the change that we got if uh, if things are uh, way more darker than 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 we want what we can do is uh, we can make this one a little bit more brighter so as you can see we are adding some kind of contrast uh, between the, the the light the lighter portions of the scene and the darker portion of the scene so that's one thing that you can do as you can see this is the difference as you can see we have um it has uh, a little bit uh, more difference so this is one one lighting scene as you can see we have finished almost everything 
the next thing that we can do is uh, if I just drag, uh, drag like this and change this one to wallet. And what I'm going to do is, for example, let me mm, keep this one as 495. What I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to change the HDRI that we are going to use. So as you can see, this is the second HDRI that I have selected. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to decrease the sense strings to zero and the sky strings to one. And I'm going to disable this use curves. So as you can see, this is some kind of day, day scene, which is more brighter than, than the previous scene that we have done. And for this one also, you can, you know, use the curve and you can manipulate the curves. You can make it a little bit more darker and you can, as you can see, you can make uh, the brighter portions of what the HDRI to be a little bit more darker, as you can see. So you can manipulate things like this. And also you can change uh, the degree. For example, if I make a zero, probably this, this won't have that much effect, but let me keep it as maybe keep it as zero. But the point is, uh, with with using a different kind of HDRI and with using you know uh, a different kinds of curve, you you can generate uh, a new kind of a new kind of scene without even trying that much hard. So what um, what I'm going to do is let me change this one. Let me make this one uh you know so that I will have some kind of warm feeling. I don't I don't need the blue the blue filter. So as you can see, this is another scene with with a little bit uh, manipulation. As I have said earlier, uh, you can you can make things, you can tweak things right here. So guys, this is all for today. I hope this was a really good learning curve when it comes to lighting exterior scene in Blender Cycles. And please don't forget to like and subscribe so that I can keep making videos like this in the future. So see you in the next video.